Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today we're doing another video on the Doctor Who fandom and I just wanted to say thank you guys for the amount of views the last one got. I know the original one I did back in like January I think it was, it's my most popular video, that got loads of views, it's even approaching 1k now which is ridiculous. And then the one I posted recently about um, the Doctor Who fandom and why we shouldn't idolise fans is also doing pretty well, I'm pretty sure it's already my third most popular video. Um, um, which is kind of ridiculous, so thank you guys for the support. Um, unfortunately, I'm making another one today. I say unfortunately because even though these videos seemingly get me, you know, more views than normal, it's never fun to talk about the dire state that the Doctor Who fandom is in, especially when it's in relation to something as serious as sexual assault allegations. Now, I don't like to speak about serious things on my channel, uh, mainly because, you know, I do YouTube to enjoy it, so when you're talking about things that aren't all too much fun to talk about, obviously, it's not going to be a fun video to record. But I wanted to make this video. It's kind of an adaption of a Twitter thread I made, which is kind of similar to that 11th Doctor video I did on why he was underrated. I adapted... Uh, that video from a Twitter thread I made, and the reason I did that is because on my Twitter it doesn't have, you know, the furthest reach, so I thought I'd make a video on it, and I decided to make uh, another video on a Twitter thread I made, um, and conveniently it's also on 11, and... The Doctor Who fandom has been quite a sour place recently, obviously everyone's incredibly down due to the yeah, allegations that we're facing um, Tom Vance and obviously the Noel Clark stuff that come out which is just, it's just really, really upsetting to be perfectly honest with you um, that these people would do these things, it's just, uh, it's just such a, a mood killer honestly, um, it's really frustrating. Um, that this keeps on happening, unfortunately, and the, the spirits have been quite low, um, understandably, of course, and there's been a lot of victims getting their stories out there, uh, which is obviously fantastic. Some people may wonder why I don't tend to speak about the actual issues of the sexual assault. I steered away from that in my Tom Vance video. Um, I don't tweet about it much on Twitter. I said on Twitter, the reason is, is because... I don't really have anything else to say, like, my thoughts are echoed by most people in the Doctor Who fandom, um, that obviously sexual assault is disgusting and, you know, I applaud the victims for coming forward. Um, surprise, surprise, I've never, um, you know, had sex, I guess. Who would have thought, you know, a Doctor Who fan who, who is a virgin? Oh my god, who would have thought? Yeah, I haven't had any, like, uh, experiences of sexual assault or any of those kind of things, so I can't imagine what... It must be like for these victims, you know, my heart goes out for them. It must be horrendous and obviously to, to speak up about it, it, it takes, you know, an amazing amount of confidence. So all power to them. And yeah, my thoughts are just essentially echoed by most people in the fandom. I mean, if I had a unique take on sexual assault, then I'd be not a very good human being, would I? Because... Well, well, yeah, there is a definitive take. There's only one take on sexual assault. It's it's bad. So if I had a unique take, then obviously I'd be a monster. So obviously that's why I haven't tweeted because I like to tweet when I have a unique take. And obviously I don't have a unique take on that. So obviously that's my stance. It's the, essentially the same stance as other people. But something I did feel as if I had a unique take on was this tweet that someone made. Now, the tweet will probably appear on the screen. Or will it? I'm not sure if I... I'll, I'll just include the tweet. Um, and essentially it's by someone, and they said, while we're on this topic, can I just say that male Doctor Who fans who thoroughly idolise the 11th Doctor slash Captain Jack have always low-key made me uncomfy. Now obviously, if people idolising the 11th Doctor and Captain Jack makes this person uncomfy, then who am I to judge? It's their opinion now, I can't tell people what to feel. But in my opinion, this just felt like... A massive sweeping statement and it just felt like this person was judging all 11 fans or Captain Jack fans but as I'm a massive fan of the 11th Doctor as you all know he's kind of what I'm gonna be focusing on because it kind of hit me personally when I read this that obviously I am an 11th Doctor fan it is well documented on this channel that he is my favorite Doctor and to be perfectly honest with you the 11th Doctor has played quite a pivotal part of my life he has shaped me, I suppose, that that character, in terms of like my mannerisms and approach to things, 
And the Doctor just generally as a character has very much shaped me since the age of seven. I think that's the same with all Doctor Who fans when you watch Doctor Who and you know the character of the Doctor they very much shape you but particularly the 11th Doctor because he is my first favorite Doctor he's very much shaped me in terms of a lot of my mannerisms and and j just certain personality aspects I suppose um, and he, he, he his incarnation of the Doctor but the Doctor as a whole has always been a massive role model to me so the 11th Doctor he's the Doctor that made me fall in love with Doctor Who and yeah I have a special place in my heart for 11 so ultimately to hear someone say that ultimately a a lot of male 11 fans are kind of uncomfortable and there's kind of implications in that tweet that they are kind of sex pests now the tweet doesn't outright say it but the implications are there that you know 11 fans they're, they're a bit dodgy you know and yeah, that, that's just such a sweeping statement it's just so judgy and as I said if this person is feeling that way like I, I can't change their opinion obviously and it's not my right to change their opinion but I, I just felt like that's just a massive sweeping statement and to be honest I don't like it that it kind of paints not only the character as something the character is not at least in my opinion but also paints the fans by the same brush and at the end of the day, the 11th Doctor, right? The 11th Doctor did some dodgy stuff in Series 7B. Um, every 11th fan would acknowledge that some of the stuff he did in 7P w was downright gross. But to be perfectly honest with you, looking at it like realistically, it's a couple of scenes. It's about three scenes max. And ultimately, that's about three scenes in a half of one series out of three series that the 11th Doctor has. Look, realistically, you can't define the 11th Doctor as some sort of sex pest when it's just not really indicative of the character. And even the scenes in which he does do some stuff which are a bit questionable, they're pretty sparse, in my opinion at least. So while I acknowledge that those scenes aren't exactly great, and I acknowledge that they do make a lot of people uncomfortable, I think some of them do make me uncomfortable, I think particularly the scene in Nightmare in Silver, um, is quite an uncomfortable thing to sit through as well as the, the kiss on Jenny in, in the Crimson Horror. Ultimately, it isn't indicative of the character. And those actions, as much as they're not indicative of the character, they're very much not indicative of the fans. I don't know why this uh, tweeter is trying to suggest that just because of those actions of the 11th Doctor means that people who idolise the 11th Doctor now would carry over those actions like that just seems like really bizarre to me as if people idolize 11 because of those actions if that makes sense like i don't really see the correlation like yes yeah, sure there's gonna be some overlap of course there is but there's gonna be some overlap with all doctors if that makes sense like the fact that someone is a sex pest and just happens to be an 11 fan well that's just it they, they just happen to be an 11 fan i doubt there's any correlation there and there could be correlation but let's be real that's like a one in a hundred chance a one in 500 chance of, of that happening because let's be real people don't become fans of the Olympic doctor because he was horrible to women in a couple of scenes if you get me like that's just not really the case and from a personal perspective i certainly know that i wouldn't dream of ever doing something that disgusting to women uh, like what is being insinuated by this tweet obviously coming out in light of stuff like the tom van situation and recently especially although this tweet was just before but obviously this tweet is unfortunately a bit ironic and uh, you know it's just unfortunately kind of been proved right um, by the stuff with Logsy or Redheaded Chinny and the 11th Doctor cosplayer who has also been exposed as someone who did some pretty awful stuff to women. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that may appear to only prove this person right that 11 fans are wrong and they are all a bit weird and pervy but but also that's that's just a, such a sweeping statement that that really angers me because it's like the same people who are having a go at john the white for saying the random doctor who fans are all on some pervy server and are pervy which is just ridiculous will probably then say well you know 11 fans are all a bit weird aren't they and I, i'm sorry but that is just kind of a ridiculous thing to say because it's just so judgy and such a sweeping statement and at the end of the day you can't just paint all members of one group by the same brush 
Like, that's just ridiculous. I can't believe that it's 2021 and we still have to say that you can't just make a sweeping statement about one group of people. That that's just ridiculous. But in light of the uh, Vlogsy situation, I wanted to say that at the end of the day, Vlogsy is the exception to the rule. He's not the majority. If that makes any sense. At the end of the day, 11 Doctor fans aren't sex pests. And just because Vlogsy happens to be a dodgy guy, he's the exception, he's not the rule. And it annoys me that people are associating things like this with people who just happen to like the 11th Doctor. Like, that's just ridiculous. At the end of the day, everyone has a favourite Doctor. And just because their favourite Doctor had a couple of scenes where they did some stuff that was questionable, doesn't mean that they are also a questionable individual. Like, that's just ridiculous, and on a personal level, it really hurt me, because I thought, well, I'm a massive fan of Eleven, why are people trying to associate me with people who are truly horrific? And I can understand how this tweeter got to where they are. At the end of the day, Eleven did some questionable stuff, but at the end of the day, that's, that's, there's no need to associate a group of people with doing horrific things based on literally nothing. Um, and yeah, as I, as I said, I can assure people that fans of the 11th Doctor wouldn't dream of doing something like that to women. And at the end of the day, Vlogsy is the exception, he is not the rule. Um, and yeah, I just felt like this kind of needed to be said because at the end of the day, it's only a matter of time before something like this gets traction and then more people jump on it and all of a sudden there's a massive kind of stigma in the fandom against fans of Eleven based on nothing um, and before that kind of stigma builds up I just wanted to make this video because yeah you know Eleven fans aren't some crazy sex pest that you should not be generalizing people in that way uh, and that's just ridiculous as I said I don't want to uh, tell this tweeter how to feel if they feel uncomfy then you know that's their opinion that's how they feel ultimately i can't tell them how to feel obviously it's a personal feeling for each individual but ultimately i do feel like it's a bit of a sweeping statement and i do think it has implications about fans of 11 that just are really harmful so don't don't do that as as i said i'm a massive supporter of victims coming out and sharing their story in the talk to fandom obviously some people have done awful things and ultimately if if the evidence is there then th then yeah that, that 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 is absolutely fair you know um if people are mastering their confidence to come out and speak out against these people it's, it's absolutely great you know as i said all my support goes towards these victims but I think it is dangerous that we could potentially be just accusing people for no real reason. Like obviously, Tom Vans of Logsy done awful things, deserve to be punished. But when people are kind of saying, well, let's just rope in all these 11 fans with them. Like, no, that's, that's not right. Please don't do that. Um, yeah, this has been essentially a massively jumbled video. Um... I've just kind of been rambling. To be honest, my Twitter thread was actually a lot more organised than this, so I'm not really sure what I hope to gain by this video, because I've just essentially discussed the Twitter thread, but just kind of waffled about it for about 15 minutes. Um, sorry about that, guys. But I hope you get my point, that ultimately, there's no need to make that generalisation about Eleven fans. Eleven fans are not like that. And ultimately, Red-Headed Chinny is the exception, he is not the rule, is the main point. If you were to take anything out of that video, this would be the point that I would take out of this video. Red-Headed Chinny is the exception, he is not the rule. Ultimately, it's important to not generalise groups because that can be particularly harmful, especially when promoting such a harmful thing and projecting that onto a certain group of people is just ridiculous. And I think the fandom is in a state of turmoil, everyone is very upset at the moment, very angry, understandably, but I think it's important to not turn on each other. Um, when I say that, I mean to turn on the innocent. Um, obviously, you know, turning on Vlogsy and Tom Vance is obviously fair, but I think to turn on each other, uh, the innocent people, and just kind of accuse them uh, for 
no reason just kind of accuse them of horrific behavior just based on a fictional character they like like that is out of order and that is just ridiculously too far that like, i know we want to unveil uh, these horrific people but going about it in that way is just wrong and you're creating a stigma and generalizing a group of people which is just harmful and it could create a harmful stereotype about a certain group of people which which is just not on like at the end of the day there's a stereotype about doctor who fans that all doctor who fans are terrible and all doctor who fans hate women and this sort of stuff and at the end of the day people have often spoke out about how that is just such an untrue generalization about doctor who fans created by obviously jovi's casting and some of the outrage towards that it's just just not a true view of the Doctor Who fandom. But there is a stereotype attached to Doctor Who fandom, and that isn't very nice. So within the fandom, we then shouldn't be trying to create a stereotype about another group of people just based on a fictional character they like. That's just ridiculous. And at the end of the day, as I said, like, yeah, um, Red Hair Chinny Vlogs, he um, does happen to apply to this and kind of prove the tweeter right, but he is the exception. He is not the rule. Uh, and yeah, at the end of the day, um don't try and cancel people well it's not cancelling i suppose because cancelling in well, i don't know it depends what is the definition of cancelling i don't know but with something as serious as this maybe using the word cancelling isn't the best idea so to try and expose someone don't just try and expose someone purely based on the fictional character they happen to like like don't do that don't generalize a certain group of people and at the end of the day, yeah, if you don't do that, the world would be a happy place. I know that it may seem as if I'm biased because I'm an Eleven fan. But at the end of the day, that's why it hit me harder. And it's why I wanted to make this video. Because obviously, I know that I'm not an awful human being. Um, and I wouldn't go around doing that sort of stuff. Um, so I know that most Eleven fans also don't feel that way. And that this is a massive generalization on a pretty harmless group of people, um, myself included. And also, I saw someone say that this is bad timing because of what happened uh, with Vlogsy. Um, and that this is bad timing to make this. But perfectly, I would disagree. I think, personally, it's actually ideal timing to make this video. Because in light of people, perhaps, maybe creating some generalizations based on what has happened with vlogsy i think it's important to get this out there and just say hey 11 fans aren't sexual harassers let's let's just put that out there and don't turn on people because of the fictional character they enjoy but yeah i feel as if i finished rambling i hope you will get my points you know the tweet wasn't very much in an and of itself but it has some pretty harmful implications so i just wanted to kind of make this video to debunk those and you know kind of tackle those and say why those implications are harmful and just downright untrue but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i'm really sorry for making these very serious and kind of depressing videos i really don't want to make another one of these to be perfectly honest with you i was thinking of recording a falcon and winter soldier review i was supposed to record that last week i really need to get on with recording those um and i'll probably release that alongside a one division review at some point and also those podcasts that i did one with wingy media harbo and adam martin um i was thinking of editing one of those to release as well all of that you can look forward to in the future but uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe if you want to see future content from me. Obviously, uh, support the victims and uh, yeah, listen to what they have to say. And uh, yeah, while doing that, just don't make generalizations about groups of people. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, that's all I've, I've really got to say. Thank you for watching. And of course, a good bye. Bye, everyone. Just thought I'd pop in and say that the accounts making fake dms and accusing people of false stuff is just gross and just ridiculous we're trying to listen to real victims here and expose people of real bad deeds so just faking a dm about a youtuber you don't like is just ridiculous uh a great ally of the channel faris has had some truly disgusting stuff made up about him 
um, recently upon finishing recording the video. Obviously, there's a small chance that the DMs could be true. That's the same chance with everything. But ultimately, having known Faris, I've never witnessed any behaviour like that from him. And the DMs, there's no dates on the DMs and the account is pretty sketchy. And also, they follow a load of NMDs and no one else really. It's really sus, to be perfectly honest with you, and while it could come to bite me in the ass, I truly support Faris here, and I can't imagine what it must be like to go through people accusing you of such horrendous stuff. We all want to expose people and get justice for victims, but this is just ridiculous, it's just taking the piss, honestly, and while this whole video is about, you know, the generalisation of some fans, this is too far. Like, that was too far, but this, this is too far, and honestly, it is truly horrendous. If someone did that about about me, I, I honestly don't know what I'd do. I, I feel so sorry for that reason. Honestly, it's just people weaponizing their stuff. Like, honestly, we want to hear from real victims, and you're just spoiling it for victims. You're going to make their stories harder to trust by just... Just all this stuff, honestly, it's it's truly horrendous. Honestly, guys, like, I know the Doctor Who fandom is a bit of a weird place at the moment, but come on, we've got to stick together. We've got to try and build it from the ashes and just make it a safe space. Like, this is just horrendous, and <sighs> honestly, I, I, I can't believe what's going on. So, yeah, this video, um, yeah, I, I, honestly... I... I, I don't know why people are doing this, but, um, yeah, uh, yeah, it, it, it is, uh, it is sad, it, it, it is sad.